Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we have an unbagging. This unbagging comes to us from Shop Any Deals. I saw an ad on Facebook or somewhere, and I was like, oh, let me go check them out. It kind of reminded me of Everyday Deals or Everyday E-Deals or Peggy Buy or uh, CES Deals or one of those shops. So I decided to try out a couple of their paintings, and now I'm going to share those paintings with you guys. You might see me working on one of them because one of them I was really excited to get, so we'll see. We'll see. So let's get into it. Hopefully you all are having a wonderful, wonderful day. This has been quarantined in the house for a couple of days. Um, I got this, well, it's actually got quarantined in the house for a day. I got this uh, yesterday, which would have been the 14th. Today is the 15th. You'll see this on the 16th. Boom. So everything is already prepackaged. That one's thick with three C's. This is a thick one too. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. So there's four here all together. So we're going to get into this thick one and thick, like two C's and three W's. All right. So let's get into this. Ugh. So they're packaged really well. So they have the trash bag on the outside and they're all individually wrapped in their own bubble wrap. So let's see what this one is. Now... I picked out images that I'm sure would have turned out fine. Ooh, okay. All right, hold on a second here. Hold on. I don't know if we, oh, oh, we have multiples. We got, this was a five panel, I believe. Um, so this, yeah, it's five pieces. Usually when you get a five panel, there is like all together, but this one looks like it came separate. And I'm not sure how good I'm going to be able to show you. And of course, it's poured glue because it has a clear cover. So we're just going to roll these backwards. So I like the fact that they cut them apart because it'll make it easier for framing. I thought that package was a little thick. I didn't know why. I thought it was just rolled up a bunch of times. All right. So, and it even tells you, I like how it tells you at the top here. Five, that tells you that the fifth one, that tells you it's the fourth one. And so on and so forth. So it tells you exactly how you're supposed to hang them up whenever you go to hang them up. They all have a schematic on them, which I love. The schematic's only on one side, which is okay. And if you can't tell what these are, they're tulips. So you would put them all together and it would turn out to be tulips. The symbol clarity is what's getting me right now. Holy clarity. Now... The only thing I would say is the darker one might trip you up, but even that is crystal clear. I can see that those are K's and 3's. This is probably going to be a project that's pushed up in Q because I haven't done a 5 panel before. And how would you frame them? I would personally frame these in an actual frame, or if you want to like stress, stretch canvas frame them, or canvas finish to them, you can glue them to a canvas and paint the sides to match the color of the flower on them because it's like, here's what the original picture is supposed to look like. And then you got your pumpkin spice toolkit. You have to get two of those. You got your drills, which we're gonna take a look at. And even though they each have their own, oh. Sorry about that. You're all up in the business. If you're one of the people that doesn't like that crinkling noise, please mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds. Or until you see me, stop struggling. And even though they all have their own symbol list, the symbol lists are the exact same on each one. I like how in the symbol list, it does numbers. So 1 through 7, and then A through Y. So you have A, B, C, F, H, J. I like how they picked out uh, numbers and letters that don't correspond. Like they don't look like each other. So that you're not going to get them mixed up. And again, the clarity is insane. I'm highly impressed. Um, have you tried shop any deals? What was your experience? Now, it did take a while for me to get this because I believe it shipped on March 31st. 
and it is now May 15th, and I got it on the 14th. So it did take a while for it to get here, but guys, please do keep in mind there is a pandemic going on, so your packages are going to be super delayed when they're coming from out of country, especially if they're coming from out of country, and even if you live in the U.S. and you order something, your packages are going to be delayed because they're so backed up with packages coming in and out and everything having to be quarantined that it takes a while to get them. So do keep in mind that whenever you're, you know, buying from these companies and wanting to know what you're, because the biggest question I get right now is how long do you have to wait to get your kids from China? You're probably going to be waiting at least a month or more. So don't look for it to be coming anytime soon. Some companies are a little different. Some are not. Some are taking up to about two or three months to get to people. Just be patient. Your stuff is coming. But with that said, enough of that. Let's check out these drills. The drill quality, now the drills in these bags I've learned are usually really good quality. So I have two or 20 through 23 here. There's not going to be any special drills, no special ABs or anything like that. Um, so we're just going to find, and they're all bright, summery colors. Like there's no like, I think this is the darkest color in here, which is 890. The DMC codes are on the list here and also on the bag. The bag also tells you what number it goes to. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. And then everything else is just numbered just like that. And it has the DMC code on them. So if you would like to store these away. Now, when I store my diamonds away, I will store away the diamonds that have DMC codes. But... Only particular diamonds. Like if I had problems with a kit having a lot of trash or what have you, I will discard those diamonds. But I keep the diamonds, especially the ones that are in bags like this, because they're usually really, really good quality. You don't see a whole lot of trash. You might see some people not practicing social distancing in there. But you don't see usually typically get a lot of trash in baggies like this. The quality is actually usually really good. So I love kits like this, which is why I said you probably will see me working on a kit like this in... Uh, you probably would have seen me working on a kit from this order because I want a little snack painting. I don't want anything too big right now. So the colors are nice and vibrant and pastel-y, and I just love them. It's a little bit of yellow. I hope there's more yellow in there because there's a lot of yellow in the... Oh, yeah, there is. There's another yellow right there. There's a big old bag of yellow. So that is the first set of canvases. I say set because... Again, it's a five panel. If you don't know what a five panel is, it's essentially, it's this. So when you're done, you will have this picture and you can either hang it up. And that's how I would essentially hang it up. I would hang it up with the two. There's one big picture and then two small ones. And then you would just hang them right next to each other to kind of, it's like a picture broken up into five pieces. So the symbol clarity looks great. It has plastic cover on it. It is super tacky. It is super tacky. So those are the five panels, and I'll go through them one by one so you can see them. And again, they're just tulips. That's kind of an odd place to put a... Oh, I guess it does have a little pink center. I have lots of pictures of tulips that I have yet to do one, so I, I need to get to one of my tulip pictures. Oh, I put them out of order. And like I said, I'm glad that they did number them. The number is up here too as well. So if you're doing inventory and you separate these diamonds, L1890 is going to be the canvas serial number. And you can look on your bags to find the canvas serial number as well. So everything is so nicely labeled. Now the DMC code is not on the bag. So you have to trust what's on the canvas, which of course you have it printed five times. So it's going to be kind of hard to miss it. So uh, what you would do is when you put this away in the case, you would put the DMC code and the number or the letter of the alphabet that corresponds to it. And that's how you would kit it up. And then if you decide to uh, keep the diamonds, you would put those into the containers that would have the corresponding number. So if you have a bag of 164, you put these in a the bag of 164 and so on and so forth. So that is my five panel. I'm extremely happy with it. I am shocked at how well you can see everything. It's nice bright, vibrant, clear. It's tacky. I'm pretty sure it's not going to measure the size because it's supposed to be like a 95 by something. 95 by 45. But uh, you have to understand that that's all of them together and not separately. So like this one here 
is I'm gonna say that's 50 or 15 and a half centimeters 15 and a half centimeters wide by and I'm going glue to glue or I'm going from the drilling area to the drilling area and this one here is exactly 21 so essentially you would have to measure all of them together and then uh, figure out the size from there but I'm extremely happy with this one so far so so far so good so if you have not shopped here you might want to go take a look at them great place to get snack paintings so I'm gonna do a little movie magic so that we can put all these diamonds away and we're gonna bring out the next kit you ready and then there we have it. At random, I just picked another one. So let's get into this one. I'm very shocked. A lot of these little companies like Shop Any, Any Day Deals and Every Day Deals, they do have some great prices on uh, their kits. Now, the shipping for these was free. I think after you spend so much money, you get free kits or you get free shipping. So uh, I've spent on all of all, what, one, two, three, four. On all four kits, I spent $40.98 with free shipping. And, of course, the, the picture of each kit will pop up with the price for each one of them um, if I'm available to do that. But here is my next kit. Again, it's poured glue. I love the consistency. Um, so this one is Lotus Flower. It's a full round. And a lot of these companies that do the snack size paintings will not have squares. So if you're someone who doesn't like squares, again, this might be a company for you to check out. So this one is 33 and a half by 24. So it's not quite 30 by 40. 30 by 40 is going to be the entire canvas, not the drilling area, which is fine. It is still beautiful. It is called Lotus Flower. Love all the colors in this one. Good gravy. I might do this one next. I don't know. You guys know how it is when you get new kits in. You're just like, I want to do all the things. All right. So again, if you're one of those people that doesn't like the noise of the crinkling plastic, please mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds or until you see me stop struggling. All right. So the bags are a little bit different from in this one than they was from the first one. This one has 20 colors. The DMC codes are on the side. Again, on the bag, you will see the serial number and the number it corresponds to on their kit. So this is number 14, which is going to be letter C. And then we have number 7. Now, the PJ ones are also usually pretty good quality when it comes to drills. So if you look at those drills, you're not going to see a lot of trash or knobbly bits or broken drills. Drills that come in bags like these are usually packaged very well and they actually don't carry a lot of trash and debris in them. So that's one of the reasons why I like keeping the drills from little off companies like this because they usually have like the best quality drills. They might not have the best quality canvases, but they have the best quality drills. This is just a regular oil canvas that diamond paintings are printed on, but you know what? It's still diamond painting. It's still good. No shame in my game. Um, now... You see how it's all wrinkled and stuff like this. What you could do is you could replace, and I'll do a video on this because it's been a while since I've done a video on it. Uh, you can replace that clear cover, put parchment paper over it, turn it over, place a towel on the back, get an iron, if you have an iron, uh, iron over it to get these creases and lines out of it. If you don't have an iron, what I would suggest is throwing a, a towel into the dryer, letting it dry and get nice and hot. Get it straight out of the dryer, fold it into fours, and then place it on the back of it and let it sit until the tile has had time to cool down. And it will smooth out all those wrinkles and stuff on your canvas. So there's a little hack for you. Again, I will do a video for that um, for you guys to show you exactly how to get rid of those wrinkles and stuff in your canvas. Do keep in mind that, again, when you see the wrinkles in canvases like this that have the clear covers, those are not bubbles. Those are just indents in the canvas from it being rolled up. Because as you can see, it gets rid of them as soon as you do get the canvas up. The little imprint it makes there is from where the, the plastic was touching it and then lifted up from being bubbled and rolled the way it was. Still not a big issue. Uh, as you can see, the, the canvas clarity is really, really good. You have the at symbol and the dollar symbol looks like. You have a U. Nope, I think that was an S I was looking at. So you have an F, a Y, a P, A, 
You have some Ys down here, some GBs. Luckily, the GBs are, the G is a dark green and the B is like a black color or a dark blue. Um, so you shouldn't have too much problems. Again, the canvas clarity is there. And these aren't bad kits. These are kits that you can get for if you need a break in between your bigger canvases. It's always great to have these little snack size paintings and they usually turn out really good. Like this looks like it was rendered very well and it looks like it's gonna turn out really nice. So like look at the lotus flower here and then you have the big leaves under the water and it's planted at the bottom there. So let's take a look at these drills quick. Again, they're not practicing social distancing since there's an oddball in there. We have a couple of stragglers, but you can see the nice dark colors in this one. Again, the ones that say PJ or diamond painting on the bag usually have like some of the best quality drills I've ever dealt with. So I don't mind buying from companies like these. I just never really get around to working on them. So I want to work on one of these before I work on my next bigger kit, which I still have no clue what that is. So just to wrap up this one, this is what it's supposed to look like. It is supposed to be a 30 by 40. It was $7.99. Sorry. And the five panel was $15. This one was $7.99. And that's what it's supposed to look like. Again, it has 20 colors. They all seem to be there. I have never had a problem with running out of diamonds on a kit like this or not getting diamonds like missing a bag or something because they're properly labeled so you could do inventory real quick on them to make sure you have them all um and because they're linked like this it's kind of hard for them to skip a number so uh even if you were to do inventory one two three four five six seven and then there's an extra seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen Number 14 is off to the side. You have 15, 16, 17. Oh, there's a little bit of trash in that one. 18, 19, and 20. So nice little lotus flower kit. Again, it has all the information you need to get started on it. Great for if you are looking to buy or get a snack size painting to do in between your big canvases because burnout is real, folks. So you need little canvases like this to get you through before you work on another big canvas. So I'm going to put this one away and we're going to pull out the next one. Are you ready? And just like that, we got another kit. So let's break into this one. So far, I'm impressed. Like these little companies ain't no joke for some time. Y'all got to try out some of these little companies. There's other companies out there besides like some of these bigger names. You just have to be careful because a lot of these companies will have images that are stolen. So if you're one person that, you know, doesn't want to buy stolen images, just be very careful. And again, I have a video on how to reverse image search uh, diamond paintings and I'll link it up in the eye up there. It'll pop up somewhere on your screen. Um, so let's check out what's next in this little haul that we have from Shop Any Deals. Shop any, I want to, I, I keep wanting to call it shop any day deals or something. Oh, okay. So here we have, it says, it says it's a pig, but I don't think they know their animals too well. So this is not a pig. This is a unicorn. On the website, it says unicorn. It's supposed to be a 30 by 30, which we're going to measure it to, to see, which I don't think it's a 30 by 30. I don't think it's true to size. A lot of these off companies don't have true to size. So we're going to test it here. So we have a Nick before, hold on. So it's 23 and a half by 23 and a half. So 30 by 30 is the entire canvas area, not just the drilling area. The drilling area is gonna be a lot smaller. Um, and again, you see those two big lines in it. It's not bubbled or anything. It's just the way that it was rolled that the canvas, uh, that the plastic came up off the canvas and kind of uh, created bubbles or in the plastic is not in your canvas, so you don't have to worry about it. Again, I will show you how to get rid of those crease lines in your canvases whenever you get canvases like this. Not a big deal. Um, try and get some of the bubbles out of here that I created now. You just rub it so you hear all the popping noise. All right, so this canvas here, one is static to my table, which is hilarious has 22 colors and they again are numbered in numbers and alphabets. 
So you have M and K down here. You have B, C, E, H. The, can the canvas clarity is great. So if you look at this adorable little unicorn, you can see how clear the symbols are. The M's might be a little dark, but not too bad. I just think it's funny because they have pig up there. And that's obviously not a pig. That's obviously a little unicorn. This little unicorn cost me $7.99, which again, is great for if you're looking for a snack. Not all paintings have to be big, folks. So here we go, 22 and 21. And it looks like there is no DMC code. So unfortunately, these will be diamonds that I would use for something else that's not. And that's the thing too, is you don't have to necessarily throw out diamonds if they don't have DMC code. You can just discard them and use them for other projects. Say you want to decorate a canvas or a shoe or a shirt or what have you. You can decorate other things with these diamonds because they usually are pretty good quality. And if you have a DMC color chart book, you can also match these colors to the colors in your DMC chart to put them away with the diamonds that they correspond with. Um, I don't do that, obviously, because I'm colorblind, so I can't get the colors exactly correct. And Mr. Coffee would have to do that. And I don't want to put any more work on that poor guy. All right, so we have those two there. We have number 20, 19, 18, 17. Ooh, look at all these bright colors. 15, 14, 13. I love that pastel pink. 12, 11, 10. That's like a honey mustard yellow, I think. 9, 8, 7. That's that sweet corn with butter without the AB on it. It's just sweet corn. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So all the colors are there. Like I said, it doesn't measure to size. The 30 by 30 is the entire canvas, not the drilling area. The drilling area is going to be a little bit smaller, but that's okay because it still has the image on it and I like it. So the drill quality, again, is in that uh, it, these are the, like the really good drills. Uh, so I would recommend if you like to store away extra drills for your projects, that possibly you match them up to the DMC color chart book and put them away with the corresponding colors. Because obviously, like, we know our usuals, like, this gray could be, like, a 413 or 417. Um, your purples are going to be somewhere near 500, I want to say, because I think 550 is, like, that deep, rich purple. So you can easily color chart these and put them away with corresponding colors. I can't, but some of y'all might. So it does have the schematic on both sides, which I do like. Um, it has a picture of what it's going to look like at the top and the side over here. And obviously it's poured glue because you can see right through to the image. And the image, as you can see, is a so rainbow with a little unicorn underneath. And it's sitting on a cloud, if you can see the thumbnail right there. And again, this kit was $7.99. So let's move on to our last kit. Ready? And there we have it, our last kit. So let's break into this one and see what we got here. So far, what do you guys think? Are you impressed? Would you be checking out Shop Any Deals? Um, I usually try these companies out for you guys because I know there are people out there that ball on a budget and they need some, you know, they, they don't need the high price, fancy diamond paintings. They just need something to get them through. So in these hard trying times out here in these streets, it's good to have some of these little snack size paintings. So here we have it. We're going to put that back in there and get, we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of that. So let's see what we have for our last one. Oh, this one's wound tight. It is a baby dragon. Yeah. So we're going to pull that plastic back to kind of straighten it up a little bit. Now this one has some creases in it. No big deal. It's just because of the way they rolled it. Um, it does have a schematic on both sides, which I will show you here in a few minutes. We're going to get it to lay flat. And to get your canvas to lay flat, if it's bubbled up or rolled up like this, uh, you just want to pull that cover back. Don't pull it all the way off. Just pull it back and then roll it back on there. You never want to pull the, the plastic all the way off because uh, it takes some kind of voodoo magic to get it back on. So always go about halfway to three-fourths of the way to the end of the canvas before you uh, put it back on there. And you can even take like a ruler or I've seen people take tongue dispensers and use that to make sure it's completely flat. But it is a little baby dragon. Um, this dragon cost me $10. It's supposed to be a 30 by 40. 
And of course, we're going to measure it because it's not going to measure true to size. It's probably going to be the full canvas. So from drill area to drill area, I'm showing about a nick or two before 35. And then this one is 24 and a half. So not quite 30 by 40, but close enough. Again, you're not going to get these exactly to size. Some some do, some don't. You do, It's hit or miss. Um, I like how they all have poor glue. And they have the schematic on the side of this one as well, which goes 1 to 27. This one is symbols and letters. There's no actual numbers that I can see. Um, if we get down into the business, let's check out the quality of the symbols. So we have E and B. We have a slash, we have a sad face, a J and A T, uh, equal sign. We have D's and E's. And if at any point in time you get a canvas and your symbols are a little blurry, you can always use your phone to take a picture of that drilling area to kind of, you know, give yourself a way to figure out how to work on it. Like right here, how you see it's really dark. It's even darker to the naked eyes with what I'm seeing. But if I look at it through the camera, I can tell that that's a percent sign. So that dark purple there is going to be percent signs. Um, so this one, the, some of the symbols are a little hard to see. But again, if you have a light pad, that might also help you in the situation of this. I think the dragon is really cute and it is a full round. Again, I don't know a whole lot of these companies that do square. So, And this one is also in the other good type of baggies. So the baggies with the strip on the top of them. And again, this one has 27 colors. And it does have the DMC code on the bag. Hold on, I got something on my hand here. So the 168 there is the DMC color, or yeah, the DMC color. And then the ZWZ1738 is the number, the serial number of the canvas. So if you were to store your drills away from your canvas, you know which one is which. Um, the rest of the numbers, you don't really have to worry about. That's for them and their inventory. But just that first number, the first three-letter number there, 168, and then the ZW are going to be the numbers you're going to focus on. Because then uh, 168 here on the canvas shows you that that's the equal sign. So that's what the equal sign goes to. So that's number two. We have 310. We got a couple of bags of 310. So I'm 317 and 318. 350. And that's coming up like an orange color, but I think it's a little bit darker red. 436. And there's that 550 I was talking about with the last one. So it's like a deep, rich purple. 597. 644. 646. 666. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Don't give it power, folks. Don't give it power. 762, 803, 820, 947, 959, 964. And then we have these ones over here. And they're folded up good too. And we have 995, which is that like electric blue. 996, 3041, 3743. 3752, 3810, 3843. Moment of silence for the drill that was just trying to get back home and didn't make it. Amen. And then we have 3844 and 3846. So, this canvas has all of its colors. Again, whenever you are storing these, you can store these around away. The, you can store these away with your normal drills. Just be careful because a lot of companies have different dye lots, which means their colors might be a little off from the drills you currently have. So make sure you match your drills first before you go throwing them in the container with each other because uh, not all drills are made equally. So, yeah. So let's pull out this canvas. Well, again, this canvas was $10. We're going to pull out all the canvases, and I'll give you my final thoughts. You ready? All right. So, I have to say, again, I spent $40.98 and I got all four of these paintings. Technically, if you want to count it up, I got like, see, that's five, six, seven, eight paintings. I got eight paintings for $40.98 because this is the size of like a 15 by 20 size. And then there's one that is a little bit bigger. So, you're getting your bang for your buck. 
Uh, the downside is, is that they do come with the wrinkles that you might have to fix, which is fine. They all do come with DMC numbers, I think, except for the one, which was the, the one they called Pig, which is obviously a unicorn. Um, they all come with the really good quality drill, so you're getting good quality drills. The canvases are okay. You're not going to get the best quality, but it's still quality nonetheless. Uh, I was myself impressed with the clarity of the symbols minus on the dragon there are a couple of symbols that are a little bit blurry that it might be hard to see you might get a light pad for but still you're you're getting what you pay for in this craft and i got more than i expected to get from this so i would give them two thumbs up and so if you guys have not checked out shop any deals go ahead over i will link this, I'm not going to link the canvases. I'm going to link the whole website so that you can go take a look and see for yourself what they have available because I don't know if these images are still available or not. So I'm just going to link the website, which makes it easier for me not having to link each and every last one of these separately. Um, so you should see like my price thing pop up to let you know how much I paid for all of these. And again, the shipping was free. I think it's one of the sites where if you buy so much, you get free shipping. So there was that. And again, I, I ordered these March 31st and I got them May 14th. Again, keep in mind that because of the pandemic, your mail is going to be delayed. That is just the inevitable. We can't help that. All we can do is practice patience. So with that said, that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and checking out my cool haul from Shop Any Day Deals. If you have ever ordered from this company, what were your thoughts on your canvases? Did you have any issues? If you have not, go over and check them out. See if they have something you like. There's nothing better than a snack, right? Right. All right. With that said, folks, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you that if you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy unboxings just like this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me... It's random. But with that said, folks, I now must really bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to. To be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys!